Okay, so good morning. Um, today we are going to be doing the lower control arms on the front of a Tesla Model X. So when these go, you tend to get like a knock, you get like a little squeak. Um, yeah, but over like loose ground, you'll hear like a dig, 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 dig. So we're going to do the lower front control arms on this Tesla Model X. Um, I forgot I had my, my camera with me, so I've already started this. So what I've done so far is I've I put the car in jack mode within the car. So you go in, you click on service, click on jack mode, uh, and then you can lift the car up. Okay, so lower control arms. What we're looking at is, we're looking at replacing these. So they connect to the body here, they come across and they connect to the suspension and they come across here and they connect to the main hub. Now this is what tends to go is this, this end one here. One way you can do is if you, if you knock that, there's no noise. So you hear the difference? There's no banging on that one. There is a bang on that one. So it's quite simple. We need to take off this, this bolt, which secures the arm to the hub. This nut and bolt that secures the suspension to that. The hardest bit, if your car has never had these arms replaced before, is getting this out. So Tesla, when they fitted these, they obviously assembled the subframe with the arms on before it went into the car or before the battery went in. So if you look at this here, the nut is on this end and the bolt's on that end. But obviously that bolt's not gonna come out because it's gonna hit the, the battery. So what you need to do is undo this, slide that back as far as you can, get an angle grinder and cut this out. And then when you reinstall, you put the bolt in from this way and then you put the nut on this end. So that's what we're gonna do first. Um, sometimes it's easier if you remove this this under tray so I'll probably do that as well and then yeah we'll just get this arm out I'm going to do both sides on this car but yeah as you can hear that arm is not good okay if you're going to take off the under tray you're going to need a flathead screwdriver there are lots of uh, plastic pop rivets so you just wiggle the middle bit out oh. and then they fall down so we're going to get those out first. <laughs> right, once you've got this pop rivets out, there's four 10 mils under there. And then a couple of pop rivets in the wheel arch. Right, so 21 mil on the nut that connects the nut and bolt that connects the suspension. You can get one either side. I just got the impact gun on the, the bolt side and then, yeah, took the nut off. If you need to, you obviously get 21 each on each side. Um, and that'll make that come off. 21 mils come off of here. What I normally do is I do this one first, then I cut the middle one out. So this, this one that goes into the middle of the car and I leave this end one for last bit because if you pull this arm down as you release this it will pop up a little bit easier so as you can see this nuts currently sat here so what I'm gonna do is draw around the bottom bit like that so that when I then come to replace the one as long as that new washer sits in a similar position to that we'll know we're in the right place So what we're going to do now is get this end one off here, which is a 22 mil. So loosen that off. Now I've ordered new bolts for this, um, new bolts and washers. I haven't ordered new end nuts. Tesla don't use new end nuts either, so neither am I. So yeah, new bolts and washers. Right, once you've got that loose, get a normal hammer or whatever you've got. I've just got this, this rubber mallet here from when I used it earlier. So you knock that back, take off the old, so you can see now that line that I've marked on there. So 
See that line there? So when I put it back in, I'll know it's in the right place. So as you can see there, look, that bolt is now hitting the battery. So we need to angle wind this bolt out. Push that back like that. There you go. So you can see there, once you get through it most of the way, the bolt will release itself. And then what you also have to do is you have to push this bolt that way through the car. Um, so what I tend to try and do is if I can push it back for a bit, put the nut on the end, then it's easier to pull. Um, but what we'll do is we'll knock, knock out this middle one that's holding the suspension in place. And remember to put your nuts back together so this one that came off the middle had the flange nut. Right. Now push that through, and then what you can see here You can see there, it's just started to pinch through. I can't quite get onto it. So what I'll do is I'll put, I'll push back through there with my finger. I'll wind that on a little bit. And then it gives me some purchase to pull the bolt out. Okay. So, now that all of that is out, what we can do, just double check. No. Okay, now that all that's out, what we can do is we can pull down on this arm. Like that. And now that we've got that loose, um, this is what I talked about earlier. So, what I'll do is if you get your 21 underneath it, if you've got an impact gun, this is easier. If you pull down on this at the same time as I'm doing this, it will spin the bolt all the way off and it'll allow you to just pop that up there. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot of movement in that. So keep your two washers. So there you go, the smaller, distance gap goes on the outside and the two bigger gaps go on the inside together. Right, let's get the new bits. Here are our replacement bits. So we've got a new lower control arm, which is from Tesla, with a part number like that. So this obviously comes with a new you look at that, it's way harder than the one we just took off. And then what you need to also order is this. So this is the replacement bolt we just cut. Uh, I always get a new uh, washer because whenever I order these from Tesla, I'll show you actually. So whenever I order these from Tesla, so the old one that comes off looks like this. So you see it has like a, maybe a skull shape, would you say? So it has two, two cuts two cutouts on the, on the bolt, like that. However, the new ones, they only have one cutout, so they look like this. Now, so I always order 
definitely one of these. Even if I've, so if the car's coming in, I'll order one of these, we'll have some of these in stock anyway, because if the car's been replaced before, the bolt might be the right way, I might be able to reuse it. If the car's never had lower arms, the bolt will be the wrong way like we just showed you, and it's gonna be a nightmare to get it off. So I'll do that, but then obviously the original, the original nut, you can buy a new nut if you want, I just don't think it's necessary. So the new, the old nut goes on there, perfectly fine. So that can now go in the other way on the car. So let's get both of these in. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the outside like that. Then I'm gonna stick in our two washers. So they go here. And then I'm gonna put on, you can get a new nylock nut if you want. Um, on this one, I'm just gonna use the old ones. So they go in like that. Now obviously that's not gonna tighten up because there's nothing stopping it from turning. So what I do is I normally I just do it up as tight as I can. Um, and then we're gonna pull, and I normally go for the back one first and I go for the suspension one at the end. Uh, so if we get our new bolt, which is here, with our new washer. Right, so. You want to line it up roughly of the suspension, just because otherwise it'll be a nightmare trying to get it to go back together later. So do it like that. Get your rubber mallet. Push it up into place. Once you can see the hole, feed the bolt through. Now, one thing you want to do when you're doing this is you want to make sure, make sure that both sides of this nut this one's only going in one place. But you see that there? You see it sat against, pull you in. Let's go up. So you see here, this look, sat against the body. So what you want to do is make sure that you push the bolt back, make sure on both sides that your nut and your, your washer is fully seated against this flat bit in between these two grooves. So it should be like that, fully seated. And, and then you're gonna wanna put on your nut. Like so. so that'll go onto there. Um, obviously that's a 21 mil. Uh, I don't have a 21 mil spanner to hand. My, my, my main tool kit isn't here. Um, so I'm gonna have to use an adjustable spanner on that. Here's one I prepared earlier. I used this yesterday on another job, so I know it was already set at 21 mil. Um, and then we'll get our 21 mil here. There you go. Oh, that's 22, isn't it? I need a 21. there that's pretty much lined up perfectly on that bolt right let's get the bolt pull the arm down that through and then spin on the end 21 mil nut like so right now Tighten that up, on the end one. <laughs> right, now we just need to talk all of these up. 
Okay, so this one tightens up to 195. There you go. Okay, this one goes to 140. And then this inner one goes to 130. And obviously you don't want to twist this one too much because it's going to adjust the camber. There you go. Right. And that is, that is it. That is how you replace the um, front lower control arm on a Tesla Model X. So just make sure you've got your torque specs all done upright. Um, next, obviously, I'll put the under tray back on, put the wheel back on, and put the car down on the ground, and it'll be ready to go. So that is okay. So that's it. That's job done. New control arm on the Model X. I'm going to do the other side now. I'm not going to record that. Like I said, under tray back on, few bolts, few clips, wheel back on, car back on the ground, good to go. Hope it helps.